This is Texas Brew Crafters at Hot Fusion Ale Works in Fort Worth for their two year anniversary and it starts right now. Good afternoon, my name is Jason. This is Texas Brew Crafters. If this is your first time here to see our videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with all the videos that we do. Every craft brewery in the state of Texas. Today we're going to do a tap room tasting at Hop Fusion Ale Works, and uh, it is their two-year anniversary today, so they have one or two extra brews on tap. And this is the weekend after Thanksgiving, so the weather outside is almost perfect, and it's going to be a fun time. So I hope you stick with us. So it's loud in here, but <laughs> this is the Hop Fusion in Fort Worth. Hop Fusion Ale Works in Fort Worth two-year anniversary party on the Saturday after Thanksgiving in 2018. This is Frank, I'm Jason, and this is Texas Roof Crafters. So tell me what you got. What, what did you get? I got a easygoing American ale, a tanja lager, a Mexican ale, a feisty blonde, then a feisty redhead. That ta they, Tejano, it's Tejano lager. Tejano? Yeah. So you're going to correct me now? Te yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> Tejano as in like the Mexican or the Spanish word for Texas. Uh -huh. So, but they say that that's one of their, the Mexican lager, they say that's one of the, their most popular ones. Either that one or the feisty, feisty blonde. The feisty blonde is excellent. I had it at the Brewmasters Brewfest in Galveston on Labor Day of this year. Mm -hmm. So it's very good. Okay. So I got the four... St they have four stouts on the wall today. We've got a Fingal, F-I-N-G-A-L, Fingal, Dry Irish Stout, a Fur Slipper Imperial Milk Stout, the Coco Añejo, which is a coconut stout, and I've actually had that one before. They have that one for sale in cans at Grapevine oh, Beer and Wine. Yeah, okay. I've got a couple of them in my fridge at home. It's good, but I've never had it on draft, so we'll see. I and then, draft. Yeah, me too. And then the one today they said was a special today is called Zombie Crack. And it's a pecan bourbon barrel aged stout. I might have to steal a little, <laughs> steal a little bit of that one. I'd like to get one later with a uh, one of their logo glasses, right? Yeah. So, okay, so feel free, take a picture of that before you uh, before you start drinking on it. All right, so the first one is going to be the the Fingal 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 Fingal, which is a dry Irish stout with a 5.47 percent ABV. That's low for a for a stout. That is dry, very creamy, very creamy tasting. Proceed, sir. On the go. I am gonna try here the uh, Easy Go American IPA at a 5.27 alcohol content. Okay, American IPA. It's pretty good. I can taste a little bit of a um, prickly pear to it. Prickly pear, huh? Yeah. Okay. A little hoppy, but it's an IPA. It's, it's an IPA, good. yeah. yeah. Sometimes they'll, some places, they didn't do this here, and I went to Turning Point Brewing in Bedford yesterday, they didn't do it there either. Some places will put the IBUs. Mm -hmm. They'll rate the IBUs next to their beers, so yeah. I will, I'll say that on camera if I find it, but are you on untapped, by the way? Untapped? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should be on untapped. I know you hate social media, but. Social what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is this like that Facebook thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hot Fusion. What's that called? Fingal. There it is. So according to this, sometimes this is a 42 IBU. Sometimes untapped will have the IBUs and the ABVs as well. So now ABV? It yeah, 5.47%, which is a weird number. Mm -hmm. Which I had that here, so that's correct. And then 42 IBU, which is actually a little bit high for a stout, but it, stouts are so multi you can't really taste it. Okay. So, okay. What's, what's the next one you got right there? Next one is Fur Slipper, an Imperial Milk Stout. Oh yeah, very milky. Milky? Milky Milk Stout. Just a good full body Milk Stout. This one's an 8.63% ABV, which is more like it for a stout. Let's see here, I have the, how, well, how'd you pronounce it? Tongo Lager? Tejano. Tejano? Tejano Lager. It's Texas, not Tejano. Yes, <laughs> Texas Lager. <laughs> it 
Tastes like a good lager. That's, a, that's, a that's good. good. That, that's good. When I, when I was talking to these guys at the, uh, I think it was the Louisville Brew Fest, because mm -hmm. I saw them in Galveston and I saw them, and that was in September, Labor Day, and then they were at the best little brew fest in Texas in Louisville in October, and they said that it was either the Tejano Lager or their Feisty Blonde was their flagship beer. That's the most mm -hmm. popular one they mm -hmm. sell. That's that, just. Uh, yes, it was a Mexican Lager at a 5.62%. That's, that's, that's a little high for a lager. Yeah, good, okay. So next I've got Coco Añejo, which this is a coconut stout, which is already, I can tell you it's already good because I've had it before. Oh yeah, big time coconut, a little bit sweeter. What's the Añejo part? I don't know, that's a good question. It's just aged coconut, so I don't, I don't know what Añejo like means. It's a good question we should ask. Right, yeah, started. yeah. <laughs> Mm. That one is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Next, I got up a spicy blonde, a honey vanilla at a 8.27%. You know me, numbers flip, yeah. 8.27%. No, you're right. Yeah, that one's good. I don't like Blondales. You can smell yeah. right off the bat. I don't like blonde. I mean, Blondales are just kind of meh to me, but that one was good. I really like oh, that I, one. I, I taste the honey. Not yeah. really much of vanilla. They call that the Feisty Blonde and Feisty Redhead, and, and I think they have one or two others. They call their um, ex-wife series or ex-girlfriend series or something like that. Uh, it sounds like there's a story there. We need to go find yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a Feisty Brunette also, which is a dark beer. Well, I got up next after years here a Feisty Redhead, and I okay. do like my Feisty Redheads. <laughs> there you go. All right, this is the Zombie Crack. It's the name of the beer is the Zombie Crack which is a pecan porter, pecan bourbon barrel porter with an 8.9% ABV. This is their special beer of the day, they said. Okay. I said, well, what do you have special for your two-year anniversary? And he said the zombie crack. It's just a cool name, even if, even if the I, beer's I no good. I try that after you. <laughs> when it hits you, it's, it tastes like it's awfully sweet, mm -hmm. but when you let it go down, it doesn't taste sweet anymore. Okay. So it's like a milk stout with a little bit extra, and I, it's probably the pecan in it. Mm -hmm. A little bit nutty flavor in it. It's like a nutty milk stout, but it's not too sweet. It's good. Interesting. All right, try your redhead. Yep, I got the feisty redhead with uh, hibiscus. No. Hibiscus. Yeah, that word. <laughs> and cherry at a 8.67. Ooh, I really taste the cherry. Yeah? Like that. Yeah. Okay. A little sweet. Not too sweet. It's, a, it's pretty good sweet. I do like that. I, lo I do like the color there. The color is good. Yeah. I always like red beers. It's a, it's a good red beer. So let me try that zombie crack. No, feel free. That's that <laughs> one right fun. there. Yeah. I got to try the redhead. Go for it. Very stouty in the nose. Yeah. I do taste the um, almonds. Yeah, pecans, but yeah. It's, nutty. it's just like a nutty flavor. I can't tell they're pecans, honestly. It just tastes a little bit earthy, a little bit nutty to me, yeah. so. Overall, that redhead. That's what I'm gonna recommend. I think that that's, that one's good. Yeah. I think my favorite out of these is, it's a toss up, either Zombie Crack or Coco Añejo. Cause this one's, I'm used to this one. This one's a little bit too dry. That one's maybe a little bit too sweet, but these two are almost perfect for my taste. Awesome, man. Again, this is uh, one thing I've said on several episodes in the past. This show is about cataloging all the craft breweries in the state of Texas. It's not necessarily to tell you to go out, oh, you need to try this or don't try this or this beer sucks or this beer is great. Everybody's tastes are different. Every, uh, most of, most everybody's going to like a different beer. I give my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. That's I'm, wrong. I, yeah. <laughs> but the, the show is not about beer tasting, although we do tastings. The show is about telling people about all the great breweries in the state of Texas. Coco and Yeho, that, that one's really good. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. That's a toss up. I can't decide if that one's better or if the. 
Zombie crack is better. I'll just stick with my redhead. Well, the red, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, you can stick with the redhead and you can drive home, but, but the redhead's got yep. as much alcohol by volume as these stouts yep. do. <laughs> yep. So, might not, uh, might not make any difference. Keep up with this channel on YouTube, and we're going to try to get uh, as many, I saw a post on Facebook today, you don't like Facebook, so I'll tell you about this. What? There was a post on Facebook, on the Facebook page from, uh, the Texas Craft Brewers Guild, okay, which is a guild for that you can join to. Not a Warcraft. No, no, not a Warcraft okay. thing. But it's a guild you can join to. That kind of like is spokespersons for against some of the weird ass laws in the state of Texas for TABC type stuff. Okay, there's a lot of those. Yeah, there's a lot of that. So anyway, they they created this interactive map about 250 plus breweries in the state of Texas, and they put the state of Texas up there, and they plotted them all out. Mm -hmm. Now, the map wasn't complete because it was just breweries who were members of their specific guild. Yep. But it was a really good starting point to say, okay, I gotta go here, I gotta go here, I gotta go here. There's one up in Nakona, which is okay. north of Bowie. The only reason I know where Nakona is, I'm gonna nerd out on you for a minute, is because when, when we're at the Deer Lease, there's a really great two meter repeater in Nakona. <laughs> according according to the my R Finder app, uh -huh. and I was like, oh hey, and we key it up, and Jake ta Jake and I talk on it, uh -huh. and it's full quieting into the Deerly. So we, Jake over here. Jake's at the Deer Lease right now. Uh, Jer oh, no. no, 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 when you're talking when, to him. When we're, when we're both at the Deer Lease. Okay. And we're talking on the, maybe one of us is driving out, and we'll talk on the Nakona repeater. Okay, okay. Anyway, so Nakona's up there, kind of wedged in between Bowie and Munster, uh -huh. out in the middle of nowhere, and they have a brewery. And I'm like, how did I not know about this? <laughs> we'll try it sometime. So I, we're gonna I believe you made up Monster, but... So, uh, huh? You made up Monster. That's not a city. Monster. Yeah. Oh, Munster? Monster? Munster. Like the cheese? M -U yes. Okay. Yeah, there's a town up there called Munster. Uh -huh. M-U-E-N-S-T-E-R. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, Munster. Munster, or however you say it. I don't know. I'm not German. All but, in uh, Montague County? Yes. Yes, Montague. But yes. <laughs> YouTube, uh, be sure to subscribe below. Keep up with all of the videos we put on there. If you have a brewery if you are somehow a part of a brewery if you're a brewmaster if you're a brewer if you're an assistant brewer it doesn't matter if you got a brother who's got a brewery tell them to contact me we'll come out and we'll do an episode on their brewery for free doesn't cost anything we just want to catalog all the breweries in the state of texas see you guys next time oh there's a bee <laughs> get that bee out of here get get Flying in front of the camera, you goober. <laughs> yeah, you can see, I can see him in the camera. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs>